Okay, we're down here catching up with uh, Darian Derrida. He's the man behind the scenes here at Palmy RC Speedway. Darian, mate, um, got the big one here today, the under-16 stock car champs and the under-16 street stock champs. Yep. And then um, the geriatric races, eh? the over-45, 40, 40 stock car champs. So uh, first off, I guess, tell us a little bit how you got involved with the RC scene and, and come to be running the Palmy RC Club. Um, I banged into a guy through my work um, who said he wanted a few bits and pieces made. I'm in engineering, so... Um, the sheet metals, by the way. Metals, yep. Uh, so helped me out with a few bits and pieces. Um, he says, oh, why don't I build your car for going up and down the driveway? And it went on from there, really. Met a few other boys uh, in the RC scene. Ended up going and watching the New Zealand's in Wellington. It was my first uh, real event. And, um, yeah, and it's gone on from there. Joined the club and, yeah, it's been going for a few years. So. And now you're the front man. Today, New Zealand under-16 champs for both the stock cars and the street stocks. Yep. Uh, tell us a little bit about the event and what that's all about for, um, for the uh, club. And the kids? Um, the under 16s came about, um, I'm not too sure, probably five or six years ago over in the Hawke's Bay. Um, the idea of it is to get the young people into the sport. They don't have to compete against the older guys who um, are a lot more experienced, so it gives them a chance to win a title in their age group. Um, yeah, and it's proven very popular. Um, the current uh, 1NZ Junior in Stock Cars is at the moment is the current 1NZ Open champion. Massive. Which happens to be my son, but um, very proud of. But yeah, that's what you can do as an under 16. And then I, I guess at the uh, when you finish racing in these under 16s, um, there's a bit of a time wait in the meantime to race with uh, you old boys in the over 40s. What's the over 40s all about today? Uh, the over 40s is all about bringing the old guys back out onto the scene. Um, they've got cars sitting at home, and it, whatever reason they've lost interest, so trying to get them back out with a standard motor in them. Not too much damage, just all a bit of fun really. Um, and it's good to see them back into the sport. Yeah. So. Well, that's the one. So uh, this is yet Darian Derrida. He uh, runs the Palmy RC Speedway here. They race in Longburn. You can check them out on Facebook. It's uh, the Palmerston North RC Speedway Club. Uh, head on there. And of course, um, keep an eye out later on in the show. We have plenty more action to come from this uh, awesome event. So uh, in the RC Speedway scene, we've got the three classes. We've got, well, three main classes. We've got street stocks, stock cars, and super stocks. Obviously, today, we're just running the stock cars and the street stocks. We'll get Darren to run us through a little bit of tech talk um, about what these cars are all about. So this here is the current 1NZ Junior car. So uh, tell us a bit about how this car was all, all set up and, and what the layout is here. Okay, th these guys here have to run um, standard motor. So this here... Is what we call a silver can motor. You can't modify it, you can't tweak it. Um, you can change this pinion size, which is one of the gears. You can also change the gear, um, the main spur gear on here to change your ratios, um, which is a catch 22. It can either be faster at the end of the straights or quicker coming out of the corners, so it depends what you choose. Um, this class in particular. Um, well, it's just a basically a stock yes. basic class. It's it's uh, brushed motors, I guess you'd say, like you said, and so requiring just a brushed ESC. Yep. Most popular being the Novak Rooster, I guess. Yep, yep. Novak Roosters. Um, you can use Tamiya gear. There's quite a few on the market for brushed motors. Um, they're reasonably cheap because a lot of a lot of the other classes have now gone to brushless. So there's a few spare parts kicking around for these cars. Um, yeah, and you don't get a lot of damage in the standard class, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so that's so it. This uh, donor car, what do we call this sort of donor car here? This is an x-ray um, on-road type donor. Um, cool. It's about a 2012, I think it is. So it's a, it's a T3 model. It's an older model, but it's still very good for what we do. Um, and very, very nice to work on. Very precise bit of gear. So is there a, a more basic a car, I guess, to work on than the x-ray car? Is it, I see there's a couple of other types on the uh, table here that yeah, look a bit different shaped. Traditional cars are the Tamiya TT01, um, there's a lot of them floating around. A little street stock here has to run that TT01 type donor. Um, this is another 540 stock car which will run a TT01 donor in as well. Um, so there's plenty of parts, so they're reasonably cheap um, to, to replace parts on them. Um, so yeah, just two different styles, there's a belt drive and a shaft drive. Um, so yeah, take your pick really, they're pretty, pretty, pretty equal in performance, um, but yeah, one's 
I find these a little bit easier to work on than these ones, but people will argue that they are easier, so yeah. And then I see the batteries, um, we've got these sort of batteries down here, and then we've got these these bricks, I guess you'd say, the LiPo batteries here, and uh, the old nickel metals here, so uh, yeah. I guess that these are the way to go. Traditionally we used to run a nickel metal hydride battery, um, they're actually getting quite hard to get hold of these days, so we've gone to the current LiPos, um, which perform a little bit stronger all the way through the race, whereas these numbers start going off basically from the first lap. Um, and again, yeah, we've had to move with the times due to what's available as well. So um, it's, it's like a lot of this gear, it comes and comes and goes and progresses on. Well, cheers, Darren. Um, we'll, we'll head around the pits and we'll check out a few more varieties of cars, but that's the current 1NZ Junior and this is Darian's 540 and of course uh, Hunter's street stock as well, the 7P car, which we'll uh, catch up with Hunter throughout the shape.